everyone in this video we are going to discuss this set which is a subset of set of complex numbers and we have to represent it in a complex plane so here c is a collection of all complex numbers z which will satisfy this condition mod z minus z naught is equal to mod z minus z naught bar z naught bar that means complex conjugate of z naught and z naught is any fixed complex number such that imaginary part of z naught should be non zero okay so we will consider that condition to find the exact points okay which will satisfy that condition so let me mention here we have mod z minus z naught is equal to mod z minus z naught bar right so you know that any complex number can be expressed in three different ways cartesian form polar form and exponential form so i'm going to express that complex number z in its cartesian form so let us consider let z is equal to x plus i y and z naught which is a fixed complex number so i will consider it as z x naught plus i y naught okay so they have given one condition that imaginary part of z naught so imaginary part of z naught is y naught here and which is non zero so this is a condition we have right so let us put these values here so therefore let us see what we will get therefore mod z means x plus i y minus z not means x not plus i y not right is equal to mod z means x plus i y minus z not bar that means its complex conjugate it will be x not minus i y not so let us solve these brackets so x plus i y minus see minus sign is outside the bracket so when we solve the bracket sign will get change x not minus i y not right is equal to x plus i y here also minus x not minus minus plus i y not so let us collect real part and imaginary part so here real part is x minus x not imaginary part that means terms having i so we can take i common y minus y not i will do the same for uh, in right hand side also real part is x minus x not imaginary part okay two terms are there let me take i common y minus y not right so we have some space let us use so we know that how to find the value of mod so the formula is square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part let us do it for this mod so therefore square root of square of real part this is real part this is imaginary part so x minus x not square plus square of imaginary part y minus y not square this is equal to square root of in right hand side also we find a, a value of mod so that's why i already wrote square root square of real part which is x minus x not square plus square of imaginary part y minus y not square getting uh, see here we should write plus sign getting since y i y plus i y not if you take i common you will have y plus y not here also we should write plus sign right so on both sides we have got a square root so to remove square root i will take square of both sides so if you take square of both sides we will have x minus x not square plus y minus y not square on that side also i will take square so x minus x not square plus y plus y not square see in left hand side we have x minus x not square in the right hand side also we have x minus x not square so we can cancel out those terms let me show here okay so remaining part is therefore y minus y not square is equal to y plus y not square so we are familiar with the expansion of those bracket a plus b bracket square formula a minus b bracket square formula let us use so its expansion will be y square minus 2y y not plus y not square expansion of right hand side will be y square plus 2y y not plus y not square so cancel out few terms here y square y square will get cancelled from both sides 
y not square y not square will get cancelled from both sides so remaining part is minus 2 y y not is equal to 2 y y not so let us take all terms on one side so therefore 0 is equal to i'm going to shift this one there 2 y y not plus this 2 y y not that means we will have 4 y y not okay so let me remove this part make a screenshot of it then i will go further so therefore we will have 4 y y not therefore 4 y y not is equal to 0 see here 4 is a constant similarly y not is also constant because that z not is any fixed complex number okay so therefore x not and y not are constants so let me shift for uh, y not on that side so y is equal to 0 upon 4 y not so it is quite possible because y not means imaginary part of z not and they have clearly mentioned imaginary part of z not is non zero so no need to worry that z y not is non zero so therefore we will have y is equal to simply zero so we solved all those equations and finally we got y is equal to zero and this is nothing but equation of x axis so this is this is an equation of x axis so x axis actually we it is better to say real axis real axis getting since it, uh, in a complex plane we have real axis and imaginary axis so therefore therefore c is a set of all points set of all points on real axis real axis that means it contains uh, all real numbers only getting so c is nothing but all real numbers see uh, in this way we found out the set make a screenshot of it and then we will stop but before that let me draw let me highlight so this is y is equal to zero this is a real axis so all points on real axis that is nothing but our c make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you